Hello, hello. Good evening, Carlos. Carlos, good evening. How are you? Well, it's time. Let's see who's connecting. Who's connecting? There's Carlos here following me. We are ready to start. And today is going to be a very interesting class because we are going to cover a couple of very interesting topics, actually. We're going to be working in the manual. We got a couple of presentations. So let's set everything so everything is ready, ready. Okay, let's see. And let's see, we're gonna work, actually we're gonna be working with the zero conditional. And that's quite interesting. Let's see, there's root coming. <clears throat> Hello, root. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> well, there's me, you, and Carlos. So three, three is a crowd. Tres <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure, sure. Okay, okay. So tell me, how's everything? Uh, uh, 
today is more psychic. <laughs> Today is more what? Uh, more tiger. Tiring. Tiring. Oh, really? A lot of work today? Yes. Uh, um, como digo, me tocó hacer muchas cosas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I helped to do a lot of stuff like this. I have to do a lot of stuff. I have to do a lot of stuff. Of stuff. Of stuff. Oh, 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 okay, look. O F you pronounce it as I mean the F is pronounced in this situation as an of of um, uh, uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, we don't say uh, a lot of because lot of, of when you pronounce the F like that in like in of what you're saying is this. There you pronounce the F. But if not, it's pronounced as a V. Of. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So, you had to do a lot of stuff? Okay. Can you tell me something? A little bit of what you did? Um, uh, more, uh, more activities. And in, in, in my work for my many activities, many activities for my work for my daughter. For your what? My daughter. Daughter. Yes. Hija. Yes. How many you got? Uh, How many daughters yeah. do you have? Just one, two, three. Four. <laughs> Just one. How old is she? Uh, uh, 11. 11? Yes, oh yes, my so. gosh. <laughs> 11. She's in fifth or sixth? She's in quinto or sexto? Quinto. Oh man. That's cool. You got a lot of work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of work, but you know, it's part of being a parent. Mm -hmm. yeah. She she have today activities in the school. At school. At school. Mm -hmm. Really. Yes. Yeah, that's a problem, right? But, yeah, 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 that's the problem of having kids. Es el lío tener hijos. Yeah, but they are nice. I mean, they are nice. Son bonitos. Yes. Other people's, lo de otra gente. <laughs> yeah, mad. they cry and you give them back. <laughs> Lloran y uno los entrega, but uh, when they are your own, that's a whole different story. Pero cuando ya son propios, that's oh, different, boy. that's different. Depends. <laughs> Okay, 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 nice. Let's see. Well, nice having you here, Ruth. Welcome. Thank you, teacher.
Let's see. Julio, hello, Julio. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I'm fine. You? Ah, here you know. Same old story as usual. A little bit of working, a little bit of working, and some more of working. So, no much I can tell. So, and but what about you? How was your day? It was so stressful. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Today was so stressful. Many things to do? Yeah. A lot of things. Uh, I I have to work today. You have I to have work to today? Work. Yes, a lot of Oh, well, you know, what can we say? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer, no? Yep, but I already, I already for my presentation. Okay, that's cool. That's very good. So you're ready for the presentation. Yes. That's excellent. Okay, okay, well, let's be sure that today we're going to have a very interesting class, Julio. Today's topic is very interesting. Okay. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy it and you can forget a little bit about your day at work. Okay, okay, okay. well, thank you, Julio. Welcome. Thanks. Hey, Eric, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. How was your day? Uh, relax. Uh, a little work. Un de trabajo. Un día tranquilo. Oh, really? A calm day? Okay, yeah. that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. So you could relax a little bit. What time were you home? Mm -hmm. I could have a casa. Uh, uh, six uh, forty five PM. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the traffic is horrible, or terrible. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. You know, traffic is like, it's always complex, always complex. And I mean, uh, I don't see a, 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 I don't see like there's a solution for that. Right? Sí, la verdad. Es lo que cansa más, quizás, el, lo del viaje, el, el tráfico. Pero, yeah, ah. of course. Of course, of course. Yeah, that happens, you know. Yeah. That happens. And that's part of every day's job, every day's activities. I mean, that's every day's life. Well, Mr. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Hey, lady, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm happy. I'm happy. You happy? Okay. Yeah. Tell me why. I am in Hokkaidike. Oh, you are no in calor. the yeah. You are in the fresh now. Está en lo fresco. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. What time did you leave for there? Um, three p.m. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. At 3 p.m., what time did you arrive home? Oh, salir, um, 10 a.m. Arrive, uh, arrive, arrive, 3 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, it was a long trip or you make many stops? Estuvo largo el viaje mm -hmm. o hizo muchas paradas? Hice muchas paradas. Okay, where did you go? Tell me, tell me, I'm curious. Um, for, um, take my lunch. Okay. Um, pasar por el baño, bathroom, restroom. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. A restroom stop. Restroom stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say it like this. You say it like this. Look. You say, I took a restroom stop. What you're saying is, I have to stop so I could go to the bathroom. Mm. When that's what you do when you are on a long trip. Puede repetir por favor. Es lo que hacemos cuando tenemos un viaje largo. We take a restroom stop. Tomamos mm. un, una parada para ir al baño. I took a restroom stop. Okay. Okay, okay, just give me a second. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay, so, man, yeah, it took you long. How did you like Suchitoto? Hot, right? Horrible. <laughs> Yeah, and actually yesterday was pretty hot. Um, Even here in San Martin, it was very, very hot. In the night, is at night, fresh. at night is fresh. Yesterday. Oh, at night it was fresh. At night it was fresh. Yeah, yeah, well, good thing is that you are back home, you are enjoying your weather, we are suffering with the heat, you know, and you even uh, rubbing it, you rub and eat, y usted se lo restriega uno. <laughs> Rub, rub. <laughs> yeah, you're rubbing it. Yeah, you know, everybody here is like, this. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> I mean, well, to be honest with you, I am sure that almost all your classmates who are male, they wish they weren't with cameras so they could take their chills off. Estoy seguro que sus compañeros quisieran estar sin cámara para quitarse la camisa. <laughs> It's hot, man. It's hot for real. Yeah. Um, unos costarricenses habían llegado um, como para hacer presentación. Uh -huh. Son de la Universidad Nacional de Costa Rica. Entonces, oh, they were suffering. Ellos sufrieron. Sí. Y estaban, o sea, andaban con calzonetas y con camisetas, pero sumamente delgadas. Y ellos como no creen que hay lugares más calientes acá en el país. Oh, really? Ajá, y unas máscaras súper grandísimas. Y estaban como preocupados porque en Costa Rica, en un lugar que es como caliente, pero no tan caliente como su chitoto, se habían desmayado una persona, entonces tienen miedo porque se van a presentar en centro histórico y en el parque parque 
Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llama ese parque. ¿Dónde está el Team Marín? Okay, yeah, I know. Uh, I know the park. I don't remember okay, the name. Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán, yeah. Yeah, ajá. Entonces van a tener presentaciones y tienen como, como ese temor que se vayan a desmayar por el calor y por el disfraz. Well, no, Parque Cuscatlán, you know, Parque Cuscatlán is not that hot. It's a little bit fresh. It's a little bit fresh. Yeah, you should take them to, to Zulután, you know, to La Unión. La Unión, so they could enjoy. Ahí bajamos de libras, creo, en La Unión, con el traje. <laughs> Or, you know, uh, uh, Oh, to Santa Rosa. Uh, it, I know. It is very delicious the weather there. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Yeah, yeah. I recommend it to you. Try to arrive there around noon. You know what you can do? So you can really enjoy it. Go by car with the air conditioning, full blast. Vayan en el carro con el aire acondicionado to the max. Okay. Stop by Santa Rosa around 11, 30, 12. Detengas en Santa Rosa como entre las 11, 30 y 12. Open the door and get out. Man, that's terrible. Believe me, that's horrible. Once, no, it, once it happened to me, I was, I was in the bus. I was by bus. But, you know, I was with air conditioning and everything cool. And then they told me, okay, we are getting down here. Y luego me dijo, mi amigo, I was riding with a friend. Iba con un amigo. Hey, let's get down here. We got down. But, man, it was so hot. I mean, you feel like you, you crash. Like the heat is a wall. Oh, it's terrible. But no. I mean, also there are there are some places here that are very fresh. Igual tenemos lugares frescos. Mm -hmm. Like where you live, right? It's fresh. Man, it's so it's so hard for me to 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 to. To accept the fact that that we are suffering here and you are not. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, lady, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you. No, come on. It was sincere. Fue muy sincero. You could notice. Se me notó. Welcome, welcome. Hey sí, guys, <laughs> let me get the let me get the attendance before I get in trouble. Antes que me meten niños. Let me get the attendance, please. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Lumaña Lobo. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present teacher, present. Thank you, Carlos. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. Present teacher. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Julio César Aguillón. Present. Arevalo. Present Thank teacher. You. Thank you. Hmm. 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 Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. Present teacher. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda.
Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Walter Ernesto Pérez Gálvez. Present teacher. Okay, guys, let me check on something. Okay, well, 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 still got time. Well, I, today I'm not going to be having long, too long conversations because we have a couple of activities to do. And it's going to be interesting. But let's see. I still got time to... Oh, Veronica Elizabeth is here. Okay. Ana Marlene, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You're fine? Okay. Tell me, how was your day? Now I'm going to interview oh really you went to an interview oh my gosh yeah. well how did it go ¿Qué tal fue? I'm well okay let's hope um, everything turns out okay after the presentation I, I, uh, I go to the other interview <laughs> my gosh so you still have to go to another I one. I prefer the second interview, but in other place, in other, in other place. Okay. But I want to work in the place that I have the second interview. Okay, well, let's hope you can make it. Esperemos todo lo vaya bien. Yes, thank you, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Well, My baby's crying. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Ana Marlene, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, Hey, Rafael. Hello, how are you? Hey, teacher. Hello, mister. How are you? Hello. Here, why? Uh, why a little hot? Hot? Hot. I'm sorry? Here, why a little hot? Okay. Un poco de calor acá? Or is hot? Hot. Here, a little hot. Hot. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is, it is hot today. Terrible. Yeah. Fail. Yeah. Pero, but, uh, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Descansado. Oh, really? Rested? Yeah, yeah, Is rested. Your yeah. day off? Yes, yes. Oh, I, that's cool. Yeah, and request uh, permission. Um, para tomar this day. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, that's that's good. I mean, sometimes it is necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I sleep in oh, night nine p.m. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can just say it like yeah. this. Look, instead of saying the exact time, you can say uh. uh I slept slept late today. Dormí hasta tarde. I slept late today. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Um luego eh, fui de, de, de trip. Oh really? Sí. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a dry um uh, song song oriente. Okay, you went to the west. Visit, yeah, visit uh, my parents. 
of um, visiting his parents for the for the tarde. Oh really? Where to? Yeah. Um, Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Donde, donde, donde? Uh, this is it's in San Vicente. Oh, San Vicente. Man, San Vicente is yeah. hot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a um, uh, treat. Um, okay, but you're, ahí. you're talking about the, 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 the main city? Uh, the main city? Uh, Habla de la ciudad de San Vicente or, or, or around? It's alrededor. Around. Yeah. Around. Okay. Which uh, are the little is... towns you visited? ¿Qué pueblo visito? Yeah, uh, visit Verapaz, uh, Guadalupe. Oh, Guadalupe. Is... Remember, it was a little bit fresh. Guadalupe un poco más fresco. Uh, yeah, it's uh, some some is um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Planis, and... Yeah, yeah, it's in a valley. This is Valle Jiboa. Yeah, <laughs> the, it's a valley. Valley. Yeah. Bali, Bali Jiboa. Eh, también, ¿cómo se dice también? Also. Also is um, of um, the, the town. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah? Uh, I know, uh, I mean, San Vicente, I know many places. I know Tepetitán, Guadalupe, Verapaz. Uh, yeah. I got relatives in San Sebastián, and I also got relatives in San Esteban. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it it's more uh, oh, San Lorenzo? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In San Lorenzo, I have another <laughs> uncle. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, got, I got plenty of family over there. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, ahí hay muchas moliendas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Es bonito. Sí. It's nice, it's nice. Man, I remember being a kid, I used to eat a lot of candy there. Cuando yo estaba chico, comía mucho de ese dulce. <laughs> yeah, my grandpa, sí. gra my grandpa used to be in that process like for, for four or five days sometimes. Eh, ah. el molía hasta cuatro o cinco días. Ah, so good, eh? Yeah, so I used to go there and, and, and eat, eat a lot of candy. I love that candy. Eh. Sugar cane candy, I love it. And you are learning processing uh, la caña de azúcar. La... To be honest with you, I was watching, but I never like pay attention. I was, I was too much of a kid. Yo era muy pequeño. The thing is this: when I turn like thirteen, uh, when I turn like thirteen, you know, back in the days it was a little bit different. When I turned thirteen, the situation in my family was this: there was vacation. If my yeah. If my family was going to San Vicente, I was going to El Tunco. If they were going to the beach, I was going to another place. Since I was, <laughs> I don't, I never spent a vacation with my family since I was 13. Como de los 13 años, ya nunca tuve vacaciones con ellos. I used to go okay. somewhere else. Okay, not, not visit um, Pos Azul, la, la Lake. Like a oh yeah, I know a pastepeque. Yeah, I know it's a pastepeque. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a very nice place. Um, today is a uh, is uh, some popular uh, business. Oh yeah, left uh, around. Yeah, um, back in the days it was it was different. Antes era muy distinto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, mister. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Hey, thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Back in the day, en aquel entonces. That's back in the day. Well, let's see. Hmm. Who else is around? Marjorie. Hello, Marjorie. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. 
I repeat the exam. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> you got a 10? You got a 10? <laughs> No, 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 tampoco, pero. Come on. Man. Pero la pasé. Come on, come on, come on. Marjorie, we as your classmates and your teacher here, we don't accept less grade than a 10. Como su maestro y compañeros acá no le aceptamos menos del 10. Well, we no. can accept that 9.9. I mean. Tan malo que es. Acepte que ya tengo mi cerebro medio oxidado. Ah, uh, that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. Yeah. Ya estoy cansada. Um, that, that affects, but it's not an excuse, my dear. Sí, influye, pero no es excusa. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I know uh, I, I have a, a, a friend. He's also a teacher, and he's like like 59 he just finished his master well <laughs> a second master oh, so, yeah it's fun <laughs> so no excuses no of course i mean working and and studying is not easy and you are all and you are also taking uh Taking English, man, it's difficult. Ah, good. But, okay, some. <laughs> sí, eh, ya por lo menos, sí, nos permitieron eh, repetir el examen y, y nos ayudó bastante, la verdad. Well, bastante, bastante. That's nice, that's nice. One day, one day, well, vacation. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> slowly, Creo... slowly you will make it, and vacation helps. I mean, you will rest, you will have time. No tener tiempo descansar, that's good. A cargar baterías nuevamente. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's not easy, but but you can do it. You will see. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Verá que le va a ir bien. El viernes no voy a entrar a clase. Ay, chico, a eso oh. sí te vamos a tener problema. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Particularly because on Friday we are having the Encuesta de Satisfacción. No, son and, bromas. <laughs> and if you remember, that's mandatory. Es obligatoria to take it. So Friday is the day that you cannot be absent. Es el día que no pueden faltarme. Yes, sir. Okay, well. Aquí estaremos, aquí estaremos. Marjorie, nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me see just one second. Let's see. Still got time for a little bit more. Clelia, hello, how are you? Clelia. Okay, well. Veronica Elizabeth. How are you? Hmm. Hey, Walter. Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine. Thanks. 
and good. You find and good. That's right. nice. Yes. <laughs> In the office and all that. Uh, a light. I'm sorry. In the office, uh, a truck called the line. Oh, the electrical yes, power. Yes. Ouch. So there was a power outage. Yes. That's a problem. Yes, yes, but I feel rest, rested. Oh, you didn't, <laughs> you were not working that much. No much. Ah, uh -huh, that's interesting. <laughs> yes. Give me just one second, mister. Okay. Man, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. So, what time did you have that problem in your workplace? ¿A qué hora se le presentó ese problemita? In the truck called the line um, in the night. I don't know. At night. At night, at night. Yes. Okay. In all the day, uh, no walls. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> yes. It's it's a, a was a slow day. Yeah, but the problem is that I mean, you will have a uh, 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 some work delayed for tomorrow. Yes. That's not good. <laughs> yes, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, it was good today, but you got to be thinking that tomorrow's going to be like uh Tomorrow, yes, yes, tomorrow, uh, well, I will uh, crazy day. Yeah, I understand you, but I mean. But for day, uh, I rest, I could, uh, a good day. <laughs> you had a good day. Yes, today. That's cool, that's cool, I mean. Yes. <laughs> it's important to 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 when they in lo que va del año. Yeah, one day in the year. One day in the year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. Hey, yes. Mister. Thank you. And thank welcome. you, teacher. Thank no, you. Teacher. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me share with you guys. Uh, well, welcome all of you. I know I couldn't talk to all of you, but there are some, some activities we've got to perform. And let me start by sharing with you. Well, first of all, I'm going to share something from yesterday's class. It is something we were missing. It's mostly about vocabulary, okay? You remember I was asking you what's the procedure in your company, of course, to request uh, uh, permission. And you were actually telling me about it. You were telling me that first print the request form that is available on the internet. In this case, in this in this company, okay, fill out the form, write the reason for the permission, write the time and day you will be absent, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons, then ask for the department manager's signature, present the form at the human resources office, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. If the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Right? Now, let's see. That's just vocabulary. Now, Okay, we got these two questions. 
What happens is if an employee in your company shows up late? What do you do when you are sick and can work? Okay, guys, these two questions are our first activity. We are going to discuss, and then you're going to come back here, and you're go we are going to talk about it, okay? So let me get you into groups. You will have four minutes to discuss those questions. Give me a, a second. Okay, and I'll get you into the groups. Okay, groups created, let's jump in. Four minutes, just two questions. I'm gonna share them with you in the WhatsApp group also. Lady, mm -hmm. this is a job. Mm -hmm. so, oh, so what do you do? What happens when playing you talk on the show is um, uh, show, show attention. ¿Cómo sería llamar la atención? Me llama la atención. No, to show off. Oh, no, 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 no. What you are talking, yeah, you are talking about a tell off. Tell off. Ah, tell off. Tell off. Un regaño, un llamado a atención. Yeah, tell off. Tell off. Recommend this uh, this the this con the minutes. In my case, now uh, you you uh, have um, or into the more than travel or okay. not in, check in or, check in time check in check yeah. in time. Or not, um, check out time. Check out time. Mm. Así de que sí me llama la atención, sigo tarde, pero quizás se alegan porque no tenemos hora de salir. En nuestro caso, discount, discount de minutos. Mm. And they sex, sex, sex. Séptimo, ¿cómo sería? Seven, oh, ah, seven. Séptimo, That creo. Seven. Algo así, ajá. Una empresa en que estuve, me acuerdo que, que, que sí, hacían eso. Acumulaban hora, 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 hora y pum, séptimo. Ajá, ahorita nosotros, bueno, en, en mi trabajo así es. Wow. Creo que son un lady que vos sabes. Ah, oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't have no problems at all. In my case, um, now nobody is um como pendiente de la hora de entrada. Entonces, eh, siempre esperamos como lo mejor de la otra persona y se le pregunta qué pasó, eh, si está bien, si necesita apoyo o eso. Y lo que hace es, dependiendo, es opcional ver. Puede reponer el tiempo que llegó tarde, saliendo horas después o reponiendo en horas de campo. Pero no es como que alguien esté pendiente de si cumple o no cumple con, con el horario. Al final, tiene que presentar un producto. Ok, so it's, they demand, uh, they demand results. Right? They demand results. Les piden resultados. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos el tele, teletrabajo, telework, ¿sería? Yes. Ajá, entonces solamente se avisa. Eh, digamos, hoy no quiero ir a, a la oficina. Le digo que me quiero quedar en la casa y ya, pues, eh, ellos están como viendo mis avances. Uh. Y ese día tiene que presentarse, entonces no... Siempre y cuando no sea día de campo, día de ir a visitar escuelas o de dar acompañamiento, me puedo quedar en la casa las veces que yo quiera. As many times as I want. As many, as as many, many times. times as I want. As many times I, I as want. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántas veces yo quiera? Mm. Repeat, please, teacher. As many, as many times. Ask the ask the A-S A-S Q. As, as, many as, as many times uh, as I want. As I want. <laughs> Next question. Yes. What do you do when you are sick and can't work? Uh, uh, to watch movies. <laughs> Pero ¿qué le dicen en el trabajo? ¿Qué hace? Para... Ah, nada. Uh -huh. Nothing. No puedo, no en mi, en, 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 ajá, en mi caso, en mi caso. ¿Cómo sería este? Eh, no puedo, no hay, no, I can't. Creo que ya. I can't. I can't. I can't. Eh, I can't. Eh, traer, teacher. Bring, I can bring, bring. Okay, I can bring a uh, work, my uh, 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 work. Ah, pues my house. Mm -hmm. I can bring work home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Pero el siguiente día toma tu mole, ¿verdad? <laughs> Siete uh -huh. días te cargan. Uh -huh. de dos días. <ríe> en Europa. Una persona es. Uh, Bitwin. Creo que es igual, vea. Building. Igual que pasó. Building. What? 
What did you say? Perdón, ¿qué fue lo que dijo? En mi caso es igual que C. Oh, it's the same as. Same as. Ah, ok. The same as José. Same, same as José. Oh. Es mejor. Pero sí, te están llamando. Ah, sí. yeah. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah. <ríe> Cierto. A ver si todavía estás ahí. No te llaman por si estás vivo, sino que por... Solo saber si te verdad estás enfermo. No, no, no. O, o si no te hablan porque... Mira, ¿y este volado cómo lo dejaste? <ríe> Otra vez también. Mira, ¿cuál era la contraseña? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Se cuesta que mi partners. Se nos preguntan mis compañeros. In UK, it's a lady. Ahí viene el teacher, ahí viene el teacher. Yeah, the pues teacher sí. is here. Ah, ah. Yeah, no Spanish, no Spanish. <risa> Nosotros ya no echamos los procesos en español. <risa> Ay. <risa> teacher. Um... Okay. Mira, nos dimos cuenta de que en, en, el, en el trabajo de Ruth y en el mío, bien informales en esas cosas. Ok. <risa> Solo Walter dice que sí. Eh, sí, tienen que pasar un permiso, dice, sigan tal. Ok, 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 hold on. Okay. We realize that in Ruth's That in roots job and in mine is alike. Beat Marjorie. We realize that in roots job and in mine is alike. Marjorie, mm -hmm. read it, please. Lealo. Sorry. <laughs> We realized that in Ruth's job and in mine is alike. Uh -huh. And then just in Walters is different. Just in Walter mm -hmm. is different. Okay, okay. So, well, We're gonna do it in the main room, okay? Vamos a ver en el principal. Okay. okay. This. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Eh, like. Walter uh, What do you do when you are sick and cannot work? Hmm. Mm. Is it is some sometimes serious? I will consult. If it's not too serious, you sweat. O sea, depende, ¿verdad? Si es muy, algo muy grave, voy a pasar consulta. Y si no es muy grave, solo descanso. Sí. Mm. In my case, I, I need to go to the doctor. Mm. Okay. Uh, yes. In... Then send an email to human resource uh, with the medical diagnostic. 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 Teacher, 
What do you say? Descuento. Discount. Discount. Discount of my salary. Oh. Ouch. That's that's bad words. Qué malas palabras. Yeah, discount. Salary discount. discount. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not good. That's not good. Eso no es bueno. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not acceptable. <laughs> In my word is is a uh, or permiso or the salary discount. Only uh, two. Those two those options. two options. Yes, only two options. Ouch! That's not good. Eso no es bueno. <laughs> no. <laughs> Estamos en la gloria, Ruth. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Completely. Yes, yes. Okay, let's recall everybody back. Okay, let's see. Well, guys, let's see. I still got time to ask a couple of questions. So let's see. Let's see who's going to tell me. Rafael, explain to me how's the process to ask for a permission in your company? What's the process? Okay, my process is... Um... Ah, yes. Uh, my process is uh, to pay attention um, um, I'm saying uh, is se debe de poner el tiempo que, que llega, llega tarde. Okay. Do they discount? Do they apply a discount to you? ¿Le aplican un descuento? Yeah. No, no a discount. Uh, but just, but, but just um, on uh, on the amount of attention or or uh, si es demasiado tiempo o es muy frecuente. Um, uh, no sé cómo se dice acción de personal. Okay, uh, that's a, 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 a mm. they got a name, tienen un nombrecito, let me remember. Yeah, but it's a, it's a reprimand, a written reprimand. Reaper? Reaper? No, I'm sorry, let me text it, let me text it. A written reprimand. Written reprimand. Written yeah. reprimand. Rep reprimand. Reprimand. 
Eso, eso. Eso es lo que hace. Ok, well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Now, guys, well, let me tell you, right now we are going to the... Right now we are going back to the manual. Give me just... Oh my gosh. Give me just a second to get the attendance. I have forgotten the second one. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Eh, Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Present teacher. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. Presente. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present, teacher. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. Present. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Ouch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let me just check a little something. Right now we are going to the manual. Okay. Now we are going to do the conversation that appears in the manual in page number 45. But first, let me share with you. Okay, guys. We got here the conversation, and the conversation goes as follows. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. 
I repeat. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, guys. We go to practice. Uh, uh, let me see, let me see. Oh my gosh. Three minutes, hurry up.
Ok. Ya ves, ya lo dije, lo dije. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's because, because of Marjorie that I come. I know that she's always a tricky girl. I know that, I know that. The ladies lo extrañan, teacher. Yeah. Finish, guys? Ready? Yes. 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 Perfect. Teacher, Teacher, come on, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please. Everybody's very angry. I'm sorry, guys. My bad. Let's see. Marjorie and Ruth. You got to start. Marjorie, you start. Okay. Okay, okay. Hi, Annie. Who is going? Hello, Beth. I am fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if some doesn't come, my boss calls him or her and when the person returns. Her or she received a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I think I will do that. Thank you, Annie. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's see. Very well done, actually, girls. Veronica Elizabeth, are you ready? Hmm. Then Walter Ernesto and Ana Veronica. Ana Veronica, you will start. Okay, voy a buscar una imagen porque solo tengo aquí. Vamos a ver. Okay. ¿Alguien puede presentar? Hola. Oh. Thank you. Hi, Annie. How was it going? 
Hello, Brad. I am fine in you. I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or, or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thank you, Annie. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> okay, thank you. Jose Alfredo and Lady Joanna. Who is that? Uh, Jose Alfredo, you start. Jose Alfredo. Perdón, 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 perdón. <laughs> Okay, ¿quién comienza? Yo. You. you. Yeah. Hi, Annie. How, how, is, how is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I, okay, thanks. Look, uh, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker? The, a worker doesn't come to work. Well... If someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I, did, I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Thank you, guys. Very well done. Rafael and Ana Marlene, please. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Rafael starts. Hi, how is it going? Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? Hey, okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, ask you uh, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come, in, come, come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. When the person is gone, he or she receives a notification of firing. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain to me the situation. Yeah, I think I think I will do that. Thanks, Andy. Okay, guys. Receives a notification. Receives. Thank you. Eric Josue and Nilton, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Eric Josue and Nilton. Nilton, you start. Okay. <clears throat> Hi Annie. How is how is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am ok. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, 
he or she received a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain his the situation. Yeah, I think I think <clears throat> I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh Nilton, remember, how is it? How is it going? How is it? How is how is it going? How is it going? How, how is, it? is it going? How is it is okay. it going? Now listen to me. Is it? Is it? Is it? Más rápido. Is it? Is it? How, how is, it? is it going? How is it going? Okay. How is it going? Okay. Better. Thank you. Now let's see, mm -mm -mm. Carlos Miguel, you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, what about you, Diana? Ready? Okay, Ivan, are you ready for the activity? Ready. Okay, perfect. Ivan and Carlos. Ivan, you start, please. Hi, Annie. How how is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a, a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I did show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see Julio. Julio Guillón. Yes. Okay, you start, Julio. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I'm okay. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, guys. Now, some people were asking me about the the the, the written reprimand, la el llamado atención por escrito o acción de personal. You can also call it a warning. Okay. Any question about the vocabulary, guys? No. Teacher, uh, what is the because I didn't show to work? Show up. Show up, yes. No me presente. Ah, okay. Any other question? Okay, guys.
Let's continue. Now we go back to the manual because we got something very interesting here. And it's related to the to the expressions we were having. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do you remember what are the conditionals? Conditional sentences? Hemos visto condicionales? Mm, and you are like, mm, mm, mm. okay, let me talk a little bit. Déjenme contar this. I will try to make it as easier as possible. And just give me a second. Okay, conditional sentences. Bueno, comencemos. I will be switching into Spanish in order to let it clear for you. Voy a ir pasando al español para que les quede clarito. Uh, let me first talk. Déjenme conversar un poco. The conditional sentences are exactly that. Expressions that express a condition. I know how to do it better. ¿Qué les parece si mejor se los hago en la pizarra? Okay. Okay. As we have done before, como ya lo hemos hecho antes. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And here we go. Bear with me. Ténganme un poquito de paciencia. Okay. Now, we are talking about conditional sentences. Now, the conditional sentences are something very, they're very simple. Son muy simples. They are sentences that express exactly that, a condition. Expresan exactamente eso, una condición. Now, you have to understand something, and it's that conditional sentences do not exist, exist on their own. Debemos de entender que estas no existen completamente solitas. Okay? Now, what do we mean like this? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir esto? Okay. The conditional sentences are structured by something that we, that we call clauses. Se estructuran por algo que nosotros llamamos cláusulas. What are clauses? Clauses are sentences, full sentences. Una cláusula es una oración completa. Now, what makes them special? Que la vuelve especial. In conditional sentences, they are special because you got first, you got two. Tenemos dos. We got the conditional clause. I'm sorry. We have the, the oh my gosh. The conditional clause, that's one. Tenemos una que es la cláusula condicional. This one can also be called, esta también se le puede llamar uh, if, if clause. También se les conoce como la if clause. Now. Esa es una. The other one is the result clause. La otra es la cláusula resultante. Oops. I'm sorry, guys. My keyboard is giving me a problem. Perdón que este teclado me está matando. Okay, we got the result clause. Now, if you notice, I am telling you, the conditional sentences is one type of sentence. We have a condition, tenemos una condición, and then we have a result. Entonces tenemos una oración que expresa la condición, otra que expresa la, el resultado. Estas son cláusulas. They are dependent. Dependen una de la otra. They cannot exist. Now, something that 
you have to remember is this. We are going to make a pause. I'm sorry. Hacemos una pausita aquí. Algo que debemos de recordar es esto. Eh, lo que vamos a ver ahora en gramática se conoce como la zero, zero clause, como la cláusula cero. ¿Por qué? Conditional sentences belong to something that in grammar we call the subjunctive mood. Eh, pertenecen a algo que en gramática llamamos el modo subjuntivo. Eh, for you to understand it better, modo subjuntivo is everything that is contrary to fact. Es todo aquello que es contrario a la realidad. It's not true. No es verdad. No es real. No está sucediendo. No, por ejemplo, si yo me gano la lotería, me compraré una casa nueva, pero ni siquiera compro boletos de lotería. It's not true. It's not possible. It's not real. ¿Ok? No es cierto. Now, this, the one that we are going to check today, is the zero clause. Es la cláusula cero. Why zero? ¿Por qué cero? Porque esta sí expresa algo que es verdad. Y le voy a explicar eh, por qué decimos que es verdad. Vamos a volver de nuevo a la presentación. Ok. We are back here. Estamos acá de vuelta. Ok. So, we have conditional clause, we have result clause. Tenemos una cláusula condicional y una cláusula resultante. In this case, en este caso, we are talking about something that, it, we are talking about something that is called zero condition. ¿Y qué nos expresa la Zero Condition? Uh, ok. ¿Qué es lo que nos expresa la condicional cero? Como yo le dije en un inicio, esta es un poquito distinto. ¿Por qué? Porque sí expresa algo que sí es verdad. Ahora bien, ¿cómo lo expresa? If cloud, no. Ok, sí. Recordemos, recordemos. Este nos habla sobre hechos reales. Ok. Hechos reales. Ese es algo que debemos de tomar en cuenta. Algo más que vamos a tomar en cuenta es esto. Ok. Both clauses. In present tense. Y esto se los pongo en mayúscula porque no nos tiene que olvidar. En esta condicional, ambas cláusulas van en presente. Okay. Actually, they go in simple present tense. En el tiempo presente simple. Let me show you one example. If, if I study hard, oops, oh, sorry guys, my bad. If I study hard, comma, I get good grades. Okay, now look at this. We have the sentence here. If I study hard, I get good grades. Decíamos nosotros que la cláusula if, es la cláusula condicional. Uh, okay, perdón. 
el if, ¿qué quiere decir? Quiere decir sí. ¿Pero qué tipo de sí? Ok, el sí de una condición, no de una afirmación. Ok, no estamos diciendo, no estamos respondiendo sí, estamos dando una condición. If I study hard, si yo estudio duro, I get good grades. Eso es un hecho. Ok. If you attend to classes, you learn more. Si usted va a clases, aprende más. If you get late to your job, you get discounts. Si usted llega tarde al trabajo, le descuentan. Those are facts, ¿ok? Those are things uh, that they are always true. Son cosas que siempre son verdad. It's exactly that. Son verdades. ¿Ok? So, now look. This is the conditional clause. Usted se fija. Esta es la cláusula condicional. And then we have here the result clause. Y luego tenemos a continuación la cláusula resultante. Something very interesting, algo súper interesante, is this. Es esto, mire. Noten. Tenemos acá una coma. ¿Ok? We have the coma when we get this order. Tenemos la coma cuando tenemos este orden. Pero este tipo de cláusulas pueden comenzar the other way around. Pueden comenzar de la otra manera, en el otro orden. And the idea is the same. La idea es la misma. Look. I get good grades. Ah. Oh. Sorry, guys, my apologies. Ma mi disculpa, mi teclado me está dando lío. Ok. I get good grades. If I study hard. Ok. Revisemos esto. If you notice, we got Tenemos siempre las dos cláusulas. Just that in this case we got the result at the beginning, solo que en este caso tenemos la cláusula resultante al inicio. Okay, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Aquí tenemos ya una condición. The condition is this. When we start the sentence, with the conditional clause, we need to add a comma, right? But, pero, if we start the sentence with the result, the comma is not necessary. Okay. Am I am I clear? Es, eh, ¿Les está quedando claro? Stop me, guys, if something. Deténganme por cualquier cosa. Everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Okay. Let me just check on something, guys. Ah, sí, aquí los tengo, ¿verdad? 
Pensé que los había dormido. Ok, 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 ok. Tal vez, teacher, si podría dar algún ejemplo. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Tenido. No hay problema, eso vamos, a eso vamos. Ok. So, if you notice, lo que tenemos acá son hechos, realidades, cosas que no cambian. Yo les decía, las comparaciones condicionales se forman con una cláusula condicional y con una resultante. Nosotros en este momento estamos hablando de la zero conditional. Zero. ¿Ok? Esta nos habla sobre hechos reales. Se caracteriza porque ambas cláusulas están en presente simple. Tenemos el ejemplo acá. If I study hard, si yo estudio duro, I get good grades. Yo obtengo buenas notas. Ok. I get good grades if I study hard. Yo obtengo buenas notas si estudio duro. Now, en este caso yo me enfatizaba al hecho de que cuando iniciamos la oración con la cláusula condicional necesitamos agregar una coma para dividir ambas cláusulas. La que está acá, ¿verdad? Pero, if we start the sentence with the result... The coma is not necessary. Si iniciamos con el resultado, la coma no es necesaria. ¿Ok? Entonces, recordemos de que estamos hablando de hechos generales. Son hechos reales, sí, pero estamos hablando en general. Como por ejemplo, eh, If it rains, si llueve, Downtown uh, Downtown San Salvador. Oh my gosh. Gets Luder. Si llueve el centro de San Salvador se inunda. Ok, now, veamos la oración como tal. Recordemos que decimos de que esto tiene que estar en presente simple, ¿verdad? Que ambas cláusulas están en presente simple. Do you remember the structure for simple present? ¿Recordamos la estructura para el presente simple? It's subject, sujeto, plus, perdón, primero va el if. Plus, subject, plus, verb, y a veces tenemos el complement, right? En este caso no lo tenemos, pero dividimos las cláusulas. ¿Qué viene luego? The comma, right? La coma nos está dividiendo las dos cláusulas. And then we have downtown San Salvador, que es? Ah. Oh, Subject. Then we have the verb and then we got the complement. In this case, by mere chance, en este caso por pura casualidad, no tengo complementos en ninguna de las dos. I'll show you why. Les muestro. Okay, we got if, we got its subject, we got reigns, we got the comma, we got subject again, we got the verb, and you see, there's no complement. No complement, but that's just a case. Este solo es un caso en particular. Because I could have written here, if it rains a lot. So you have it mucho. Now, something very interesting that you need to remember is this. Algo interesante que debemos recordar es esto. Los sujetos no siempre son una sola palabra, right? In this case, downtown San Salvador, el centro de San Salvador, that's the subject. Voy aclarando, lo voy perdiendo. Soso. Soso. 
Exclude teacher. Ok. Es que si uno lo comprende en español, la mayoría de cosas no las puede comprender en inglés. Yeah, it's actually this is very simple because this one goes like the same idea. You transmit the mm -hmm. same ideas. Mm -hmm. Este es bastante simple porque transmitimos la misma idea del, del español al inglés. Una condicional expresa eso, una condición y un resultado. Si la condición se da, el resultado se da. Simple, ¿no? Esto se le llama cláusulas porque una expresa la condición, la otra el resultado. Cláusula condicional, cláusula resultante. La cláusula condicional siempre va a iniciar con el if. Always. ¿Ok? Siempre. Usted puede iniciar una oración con una cláusula condicional y luego una resultante o con, un, o con el resultado y luego la condición. Solo que si iniciamos con la condición, dividimos las dos oraciones por una coma. ¿Ok? Si iniciamos por el resultado, la coma no es necesaria. Normalmente las condicionales expresan algo que es contrario a la realidad. But, in this case, pero en este caso, we are talking about the zero condition. En este caso estamos hablando de la zero condition. Zero condition expresses general truths. Expresa verdades en general. ¿Ok? So, como expresa verdad en general, both condition and result, la condición y el resultado, are in simple present. La condición y el resultado se expresan en presente simple. Ok, ¿y qué tiene que ver eso? Oh, a lot. ¿Por qué? Porque, miren, hay otras condicionales. Está el presente y real. Por ejemplo, si, si Lady pasa mucho tiempo en su chitoto, ella se morirá de calor. La condición en presente... El resultado en futuro. Ella se morirá de calor. Otra condición distinta. If lady stayed for too long in su chitoto, she will feel terrible. Si lady estuviese mucho tiempo en su chitoto, ella se sentiría terrible. Otra condición, estuviese, se sentiría. If lady had stayed more days in Suchitoto, she would have crashed, collapsed. Si lady hubiese estado en Suchitoto más tiempo, ella habría colapsado. Thank you, lady. You were the volunteer. Usted fue la voluntaria. Ok, si se dan cuenta... Ahí estoy expresando distintas condiciones en distintos tiempos. Este que estamos viendo ahorita, it's the only one, it's the only one that is both condition and result in the same tense. Es el único que la condición y el resultado van en el mismo tiempo. Simple present. ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? What about, ¿Qué les parece? What about if I leave you some, some activities? ¿Qué les parece si les dejo? Porque it's almost time. Si les dejo unas actividades extra, so you can check out how, how to build up those sentences para que puedan ver cómo se estructuran esas oraciones y cómo se realizan. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So tomorrow, tomorrow I, I will really need, yo mañana sí necesitaría, For you to bring me questions. Que ustedes me traigan preguntas. Specific. What is clear, what is not. ¿Qué quedó claro, qué no? ¿Ok? Lo que no, pues, lo vemos. Lo resolvemos. ¿Sí? Ok, teacher. Ok. Give me a second. Because it's better if I don't forget it right now. Okay, guys. 
I'm sharing with you something extra. Okay, here you will find some exercises, but I also want to share with you um, a little bit more of, uh, of the theory, okay? Okay, here we go. Please guys, let's do this. Check the material. The second one is the like the explanation. The second is the explanation and the structure. The first one is an extra exercise. Try to do it. Bring me questions, please, because that will help me to see if I need to expand. Eso me va a permitir a mí saber si necesito explicar or perhaps explain in a different way. Explicar de una manera distinta. That's not a problem, okay? Ese no es ningún problema. How I did it right now is not the only way to explain it. No es la única manera de explicarlo. But uh, 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 before anything else happens, do you want this screenshot? ¿Quieren esta captura? Yes, sí. Okay. Okay, so check it out, do it, and if you got any question, let me know. Y si tienen una pregunta, háganmelo saber. Now, I really need to explain this in Spanish. Esto sí necesito mencionarlo en español. Chicos, el tiempo se nos está muriendo. El trabajo en plataforma, por favor. I really need it. En este momento, para serles honesto, de acuerdo a lo que yo tengo acá, Solamente eh, la plataforma tenemos que tenerla con un 80% mínimo. O sea que si tenemos menos del 80, no está aprobada. Y solamente tengo, let's see. Ni la mitad. Solamente tengo 8 de ustedes que la tienen aprobada. Please. Hurry up, and it's better for me if you try to do it sooner so I can help you if there's any mistake. Es más fácil para mí si usted trata de hacerlo lo más pronto posible porque así si hay un error o there's any difficulty, I can help you. Si hay una dificultad, les puedo ayudar, okay? I will be like paying attention to my phone. If you got any question, contact me, okay? Si tienen una duda, contacteme. Okay, let me get the final attendance. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present teacher. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Thank you, Diana. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Present, present. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angelica Ardon Granillo. Present. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernandez Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher.
Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Please do the exercises. It's going to help you. Okay. See ya. Thank you. See you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Okay, let's see. Final like exam questions four and five. Bueno, veamos, le vamos a ayudar a Walter en la parte final del examen. Tiene un problemita por lo visto. Y de esta manera él tendrá su respuesta. Veamos. Vamos a mandar un screenshot. Better.
Well, we help Walter in his activity. Let's help everybody finish as soon as possible. And if there's any question, don't forget, you can talk to me. And I can help guys, let's see, because we are still missing some. Well, time's up. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.